Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Xenia Vibes, where we eat and vibe. Or so I thought. So this is actually going to be a vlog because today is an important day. I have to go to the DMV to register my car, finally. If you guys been keeping up with some of my videos, you know that I talk about my car situation and all the freaking drama with that. And it has finally come to the day where I can go register it, but there's an issue. So it's an adventure I have to take. I actually have to, what is that? Is the wall dirty or something? I don't know. Ignore that. But it's an adventure I have to take. I actually have to walk from my house to the train station, get on the train to go about four or five stops away, get off the train and walk to the DMV in that town. Now, this is all happening because there is a DMV five minutes away from me, but they decided, oh, let's take away car registration. So now there's no longer a DMV around my area that does like car registration and everything like that. And you may be saying, oh, Xenia, but it's just a one-time thing. Get over it. But it still sucks to have to travel all the way to a different DMV because they decided to stop doing car registration? That is insane. It took me a while to save to make this trip. So, you know, the ticket round trip is going to be about 12 bucks. Not a lot. Whatever. But um, I'm doing mostly walking. So I don't have to spend any money. Because if I really didn't want to walk, I could do Uber. I could Uber to the train station. And then when I get to... um the trains the my destination I could get a you know a uber from there to the DMV but I'm skipping out on all that because I don't want to spend all that money nor do I have it things are just tight right now so yeah um but I decided why not vlog this adventure but I don't know if I'm going to be able to go because of two issues one I know I have to poo and I hate leaving the house without taking a poo. So that's one. And then two is I don't know if I will be able to make the train. I am currently ready. I just have to go grab my documents and I could be heading out right now. But because my stomach is kind of acting funny, I don't really want to head out. Let me know in the comments if you're like that. Like if you feel like you might have to poo so you don't want to leave your house. I love taking a good old poo before I leave the house. TMI, then you probably shouldn't be here because I talk about stuff like this often. So you might want to just skippity doo da out of my um <laughs> my uh, YouTube channel. Um, But yeah, so I don't think I'm going to make it, y'all. I might have to reschedule for tomorrow. I was hoping to reschedule for today, but, and that's a hard but, they have no slots open because now you have to do appointments by, um, you know, online. You can no longer just walk in, um, which is understandable. I'm sure it's now easier um, when you schedule appointments, but it kind of does suck that you don't have the convenience just to walk in anymore. So that's my story, y'all. So basically, I'm debating right now if I'm going or not. I want to go so bad. I really don't want to reschedule for tomorrow. But um, I, I want to take my poopy first. <laughs> so you'll know if I ended up taking my poopy because the next time you see me, I will probably most likely be walking to the train station and vlogging some of that. If not, if you see me back here with this blue wall, that means I didn't go and the video will continue tomorrow. So, you know, until then, peace. I swear to you guys. Wow. So I'm on my way and this is what I mean when I say I hate being out in public because I'm simply walking, minding my own business. I tried to get to some video, but I couldn't. Um, but yeah, some guy, I'm, I'm just walking, minding my fucking business like usual. And some guy keeps saying, loser, 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 loser. And I'm like, 
Okay. And something told me to put my fucking headphones on before I left the house, but I was like, I don't want to waste the battery because this is a long trip I got ahead of me. I don't know about these damn cars. I don't know like about wait time and everything like that. So I'm like, I'll, I'll turn my headphones on when I get to the train station. So this mofo literally says, loser, 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 like 20 times. I kid you not. Like, what are we in middle school? Like who, who the hell does that anymore? And it was a grown ass man, like a grown ass man. You can hear the train. I'm getting closer, but yeah. So I'm currently walking to the train station now and, um, I will get back to you guys shortly. But yeah, that's just insane how immature people are. And it's even ridiculous that I got to deal with stuff like this, especially at my age. Excuse me. So yeah, I will get back to you guys in a bit. I'm going to purchase my ticket. You know what? No, I'm not dumb venting. What I want to do is loser his weenie off for fucking being so freaking ignorant. Like, what the hell? Like... Who does that? That really just, see, this is why I don't go outside. People, people literally suck. And then people wonder why I have so many damn cats. This is why. This is why. Although I didn't mean to have this many cats. It just, it just kind of happened. But you know, yeah. So anyways, just had to let that out. <laughs> Okay, so I got my ticket and now I'm waiting for the train. I believe it comes at like 10.54 and it is currently, oh damn, it's windy. I had to put it in my pocket so it don't blow away. It is currently 10.40. So I have a little bit of time left before this train comes. It's only 77, there's a nice breeze. I don't have to walk in the freaking heat. <laughs> and die you know so yeah i'm glad i made it out here but i won't consider it done until i walk out of that dmv <laughs> Oh my goodness, so because the train came to a halt, I'm freaking running late, and I hope to goodness they still take me. They want you to show up 15 minutes early. It's already like 11.45. My appointment is at 12. I called a cab company. They picked up, and they seemed like they could get me there on time. I told them my story, and they were like, okay, we're going to get there as soon as possible. And literally, this taxi guy has no idea. If he gets me there by 12, I am giving him $20. Keep the change. Mind you, the DMV is only four minutes away. So I'm guessing it'll probably be like, what, five bucks, maybe eight bucks. I don't know taxi fares anymore. I don't take taxis like that. But if he can get me there by 12 on the dot, oh yeah, he's getting 20 bucks because I can't. I can't miss this appointment. There's no way. 
Uh, hurry up, taxi guy. Where are you? Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm so scared. Like, I'm literally so nervous. I just came out here for no fucking reason. If the train didn't come to a halt, I would be good. We would have been here like 20 minutes ago. But for some reason, the train came to a halt. And then you got to take in consideration the other stops that the train makes. So it just really sucks. It really sucks. Thank goodness it's only four minutes away. Because they want you to show up 15 minutes early, I'm scared that they're going to try to deny me and, and not take my appointment. I am terrified right now. I really don't want to have to do this all over again. I don't see the cab anywhere, y'all. I am so nervous. I don't even want to check the time. 11.46. If he's here by like 11.54, I'm good. I'm good to go because it's a four-minute drive. That means I'll be on time. And I don't know if they take you or if you're late. I have no idea. Oh, boy. Y'all, you have no idea. I will let I will keep you updated. Um, clearly, when I get to the DMV, I have to go right in. I have no time to record. But when I get out, I will let you know what happens. I will let you know if I'm taking the walk of shame back to the train station and wasted, oh, I don't know, 13 bucks on a train. Or if this taxi guy gets me there on time and I'm able to finally, finally register my car. <sighs> All right. Well, hopefully he gets here soon. He sounded very convincing, but now I'm like seriously nervous because it's taking forever. Um, I've been recording alone for almost three minutes. So, I don't know, y'all. And there's like dragonflies flying all around me. Oh my goodness. Oh, I almost choked just now. Y'all, I am like nervous. Where is this dude? Ah, he seems so nice, too. Please come, please come, please come. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is literally so nerve wracking for me. You have no idea. And I have anxiety. I'm over it. I'm over it. Okay, so I kind of want to record the cab coming, but ugh, I don't know. Let me just stop it for now, and when the cab comes, I will start recording again. Guys, I think this is the cab. It's a black van. I'm hoping this is it. If it's it, I'll be so happy. So we'll see. We'll see. So the train usually comes on track one to go back to my town, but they just made an announcement that it's coming on track two now. So yeah, <sighs> the DMV was a nightmare, guys. I was in there for so long. I was in the DMV from 12 till 2.30. An hour and a half was spent on the phone talking to my car people and telling them that the DMV wanted something specific and they were not trying to hear me out. It was, oh my gosh, so frustrating. I got transferred like five times. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, you know, it, it was pretty crazy. I literally, like, no one knew what the hell they were doing. And it was for something so simple, it could have been solved in like two minutes and it took an hour and a half over the phone. It was horrible. Like, I don't know how else to explain it, but yeah, now I'm going to be heading home because I'm done. I haven't ate today. <laughs> um, it's going on three o'clock. I probably will stop by McDonald's and get one of those $5 meal deals and do a mukbang. But I don't know if I should include it in this vlog or should I do it as its own video. Y'all let me know that for future references. Would you rather see me do mukbang separately or include the vlog? Let me know. And I don't mean like if I'm doing a mukbang and go pick up the food and record that. That's short and simple to the point. I mean like if I do something like this where I'm out for the day and I'm vlogging. Um, would you want me to attach the mukbang? in there rather it be in the beginning of the vlog or the end of the vlog oh and look here the train is coming okay i'm tired i'm frustrated but i did get my car registered finally it only took almost a year 
July 1st. I came back late August. So it only took a year, you know, only a year to get my car registered. Okay, I better stop playing before the fucking, I get dizzy and I fall and bust my ass, get on the train. But anyway, the train is coming, so I will see y'all soon. So I just got off the train. Oh my gosh. What should have took like no longer than a half hour took hours. All because I, okay, so if I'm gonna get into this, I'm gonna make it as simple as possible to understand. They needed permission. The DMV needed permission to use um, the address on file. All I had to do, my job was to call them and ask them to send over a permission letter, right? Simple, right? Instead of it being a 10 minute phone call, it took an hour and a half on that phone. I literally got transferred over five times and it was like ridiculous how many times I had to talk to someone new and repeat my storyline, which is so simple. I just needed them to send a fax over stating that it's okay to use their address. And that was it. That was it. Okay. Now this was new to me. I've never dealt with anything like this before. Usually I just use my home address, but no, they were saying I have to use the address from where I have the car from since I'm still paying it off. I'm like, okay. I mean, I've had a car before I was paying off and I didn't have to do that, but you know, whatever is, if that's what they say I have to do, I have to do it. But oh my gosh, when I called these people, they were as confused as me. And I kind of don't blame them, but all they did was keep transferring me. And it was like, literally make up a letter and send it over to the DMV. Who gives a, you know what I'm saying? And it took them an hour and a half to finally be like, you know what? Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just make up a letter and send it over to your DMV for you. That simple, right? It took an hour and a half on the phone. It was literally mind blowing. Oh my gosh. I have to wait for the train to move to exit. I'm gonna show you all the people. So yeah, it literally took like an hour and a half on the phone and then I had to do some paperwork and stuff. So I had to get that out the way. So in general, I would say I was probably there for maybe, I don't know. Um, I wanna say probably like three hours, I don't know. It was just ridiculous, honestly. Hashtag eat and vibe. <laughs> okay, y'all, there we have it. My car is officially registered to New Jersey. It only took about a year, but finally. Oh, so apparently it's two plates. Ew. That sucks. I'm not even going to put this on the front of my car. I'm just going to put it inside my car on the front, on the dashboard, and go put this one on. Because this is BS. I'm not uh, putting that on the front 
of my car. I'm good. I'll just put it in the dashboard. But huh, yeah, PA was only one. I like that about PA. That's probably the only thing I liked about PA. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so this is basically stating that I have 14 days. Really? <laughs> Anyways, this is stating that I have 14 days to go ahead and get the inspection done. So I will update the inspection in another video. Um, I might go get it done tomorrow. I am not sure. I would have to go to Jiffy Loop first and get... Um, my tire is pumped up because they are saying low tire um, because of the weather and stuff like that. And then I would also have to get an oil change. I actually know my oil change light isn't on yet, so I should be good without the oil change. I would just have to get the tires pumped, but I might as well go ahead and get the oil change while I'm there. So that's probably what I'm going to do tomorrow um, and then go get the inspection and get a new sticker for my window. And hopefully everything will go smoothly. Um, so we'll see. Okay, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I am exhausted. Today just made me so exhausted. The sun and the frustration at the DMV. So, yeah. I hope you enjoy this vlog. Let me know if you want to see more vlogs, okay? And also, like I said earlier, let me know if you want to see me do, like, vlogs and then do a mukbang right after in the same video or, like, just keep them separate vote down in the comments. I want to know. If you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. Also, feed the like button because that mother is always hungry. And make sure to drop a comment. I was trying to get that out the way really quickly because it is so loud outside between like kids and motorcycles or, or possibly sport cars. Yeah, that's all I hear all day. But I'm not complaining. It's just the one I'm doing a video is kind of like. <laughs> All right, y'all. Till the next episode. Peace. Hashtag eat and vibe.